Hi, I'm Mike Basil, and I'm doing this while my baby is sleeping next to me. You might hear him. Um, spiritual formation is an interesting topic in the church today. It's one of these uh, buzzwords, I feel like, at least in our congregation. And so um, spiritual formation is a process by which um, we are being formed by God's grace and his spirit uh, to become more like him. And uh, the, the person that's being formed is, is the individual, I believe. It's, it's the individual that is uh, choosing to engage and wanting to engage in this process. And they are being transformed into the likeness of Christ uh, in this process. Um, in uh, Titus, it talks about, it says, For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety, in worldly passions and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled upright and godly while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of God um, our great God and Savior Jesus Christ he it is who gave himself uh, for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify him for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds again Titus 2 11 through 14 and so this idea of spiritual formation is, is us becoming more like Christ um, and being formed into his likeness. And this formation process doesn't happen um, in a vacuum and it doesn't happen necessarily because of our own will. Uh, being a Lutheran, um, I, I understand that this, I, this process happens with God uh, and the spirit living in us and kind of uh, causing us to be more like him. It also happens in community and with accountable relationships. And so um, it's a, a process that affects an individual, but is the byproduct of a community and a byproduct of God's spirit working in that community to bring us into a place that's more like him. Uh, and this process is, is accomplished um, not through, again, our own personal desires, but it's accomplished through, um, I think accountability is a big one, um, through spending time in God's word, reading, praying, fasting, um, and this idea of having a community that is also keeping you accountable. Um, I think that's the biggest way that we can try to have success in really uh, achieving true spiritual formation. And so um, I would say that Christian spiritual formation then is um, how the spirit works from above, and how this new life um, begins to live in us. And it's done by putting off the old person and really embracing the new life that Christ offers through his son Jesus, um, or God offers through his son Jesus. Um, some of the, the, the works that I kind of pulled my information from were um, Thomas Kempis, uh, Imitation of Christ. I used the Dallas Willard article, of course. Um, I also love Ruth Haley Barton, who is a big uh, person that kind of talks a lot about this idea of spiritual formation. And I also did some um, research online looking up, uh, I think it's called Renovare or something like that. Um, and that, so that's where I pulled my information from. So hopefully this gives a, a little idea of what spiritual formation is and how it's accomplished.